Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today we will be talking about government opportunities for SOC analyst. So as we know, a SOC analyst is responsible for monitoring, detecting, analyzing, and responding to cyber security incidents. So we know there are many opportunities for a SOC analyst in private sector, but few of us know that there are opportunities for SOC analyst in government also. So today we will be discussing about that only. So let's get started. So the recruitment that uh, I am showing you is from SBI, State of Bank of India. Although the recruitment date has been passed, but you may get an idea about what type of job roles a SOC analyst plays in a government field and what are the requirement and salary a SOC analyst get by the government. So as you can see, these are the posts that were offered by SBI. So first one was the assistant manager in security analyst. And the second one was deputy manager security analyst and the third one was manager security analyst and the last one was assistant general manager application security so these are the vacancies category wise here you can see the maximum age for each post and the uh, place of posting is also given and the selection procedure is based on shortlisting and interview so starting from assistant manager security analyst so these are the qualifications required for a assistant manager in security analyst. So a uh, M Tech in cyber security and uh, certifications like CEH, CISA, CISM, CISSP, ISO, and these are some preferred certification and qualifications for assistant manager in security analyst. Again, the experience required is candidate having minimum two years post basic qualification experience in IT security information security in banking financial services insurance so minimum of two years of experience is required before applying for this job so you need to have a experience in private sector before applying to government sector for a SOC analyst so these are some specific skills that are required a domain and depth technical knowledge of cyber security and security operations center SOC and information security operations again experience in BFSI sector in handling various information security roles so these are the job profiles or uh, job roles that a SOC analyst will perform during his or her job role uh, so these are for assistant manager only uh, you can read and get idea what are the job roles that he or she performs during his or her career Moving forward to Deputy Manager Security Analyst. Again, the preferred education qualifications are similar to the previous one only, but the minimum experience required is five years. So you need a five years of experience post uh, applying in government sector for Deputy Manager Security Analyst. Again, these are the job roles that a Deputy Manager performs during his or her job role. The third one was the managers in security analyst. So these are the qualifications required for manager. Uh, you can read and get an idea. Again, these are the certifications and additional technical certifications like this. Now the minimum seven years of post basic qualification experience in cyber security sector is required for the post of manager in security analyst. Again, these are the specific skills that are required for manager post so you can read and get an idea from this again these are the job rules that our dev manager performs during his or her job role and the last one was assistant general manager application security so these are the qualifications again uh, which are quite similar to all the above uh, and these are some certification but the uh, experience required for assistant general manager is 12 years so you need to keep in mind the experience because only things that is that is quite different in all of these posts is experience so you need uh, experience in the private sector or government sector before applying to these posts again these are the job roles for AGM assistant general manager and security analyst so these are some posts that are offered by SBI during this recruitment so from this you can get an idea of how a SOC analyst can move his or her career in government field also so these types of recruitments are offered by different banks uh, like private banks or government banks so you need to keep in mind and check regularly 
if you want to move to government field in place of private sector here you can see the scale pay for each post a sock analyst get from this you can get the idea of how much self a sock analyst get in government field so the selection process will be based on the interview which will carry 100 marks and the qualifying marks in interview will be decided by the bank and at the last the merit list will be there so in this recruitment the selection is based on interview only but in many others they are based on test also after that interview is taken so thank you guys hope you understand about this recruitment that is offered by government in the field of cyber security for sock analyst if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment section thank you guys